Hi there. My name is Raiden Cariño. I'm a second year college student from Cavite State University in this campus. And the course that I'm taking is Bachelor of Arts in Journalism. The reason why I made this video because I'm here to explain to you the elements of newsworthiness. But first, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background what are these elements of newsworthiness are. Well, these elements helps the reporters how to write their stories down so the public or the audiences might have an interest about the news. Because without these elements, the news or the story is kind of a stagnant or no color at all. So I'm not gonna take this far. Let's start. The first element is proximity. Proximity defines the range of how far or near the news story itself. It gives interest to the audiences if the specified location of the story is near to them. For example, I live in Imus Cavite, and there was also some kind of flash news in Imus Cavite that is all about a murder. For me as an audience, I'm gonna be curious about that story. Either I'm gonna watch the news or read the article that is all about the area of Imus Cavite. So that is proximity. The second element is timeliness. It defines when was the news story has been published. The more the reason your story is like an hour ago or a day before, then it's good and better. Because timeliness is very essential when you're writing a news. I want to phrase what Matthew Arnold said. He said that journalism is a literature in a hurry. That's why journalism is a deadline-driven career, and that is the definition of timeliness. So ayun po ano, kung napapansin nyo, nagpalit po ako ng damit. Kanina naka polo shirt ako na white, ngayon naka t-shirt na ako na white. Diba? Pero, anyway, saan na ba tayo? Ayun, prominence. So prominence is a new story uh, that focuses on a celebrity, a public figure, or any relevant events. An example of prominent news story is like President Duterte's late night televised or Senator Bongo's press conference in Cavite State University, Silang Campus, or LeBron James visits in the Philippines. Those are the examples of prominent news and that is the definition of prominence. Oddity is an unusual or weird news story that the audiences find it hard to believe. An example of odd news is like mm, uh, oh, an old man lifted the fire truck or a baby, a four-month-year-old baby learns how to swim or a, a dead person rises from his grave. It's kind of weird, right? Kind of weird story, but that's the example and definition of oddity. So ayun po ano ko napapansin niyo na bago po ako ng lugar dahil nag-charge po ako ng phone ko kasi malilobat na ako. So ayun, so ngayon we're now in consequence. The consequence in the element of newsworthiness defines the cause and effect in the news story. An example sa consequence ay parang ganito. Kunyari may nakuha kang balita na tungkol sa earthquake sa Batangas tapos ang dami nang sirang bahay. Ang cause ng pagkasira ng bahay ay yung earthquake. Kaya yun ang effect noon. Kaya ang dami nasira ng bahay dahil sa earthquake. Yan ang consequence. Another example din ay ganito. Merong yung volcanic ash ng Taal kumalat sa buong Cavite. Diba? Kaya ang effect din nun, mga bahay ay na-covered ng volcanic ash. Ang daming mga bahay sa Cavite na na-covered ng ash. So parang ganun ang consequence na news element. This element is self-explanatory, you know. Um, it defines the interest of the audiences, like entertainment, hobbies, sports, chismes, you know. And that is the definition of human interest. Conflict defines the arguments, disagreements, and rivalries within the news story. Ang maganda rin dito sa conflict na news element ay pwede maglahad ng opinion yung mga audiences. An example of conflict news are anti-terror law. Diba kung napapansin nyo, may dalawang panig yun. 
at lupa nga ata eh diba? may gustong ipasa yon at may ayaw at meron ding neutral pati na rin yung arot, mandatory ROTC diba? may gustong maging mandatory yun mga iba ayaw lalo na yung death penalty diba? mga iba gustong ipasa yun at mga iba hindi kasi alam mo, na, alam mo naman na yung justice system natin ay bulok diba? so ayun that is the definition of conflict It is the longest, smallest, shortest, largest, or any adjective that defines the subject within the new story. Ito yung mga balita na mayroong mga pinaka, diba? mga pinaka, kunyari, pinakamahal na pagkain sa buong mundo, sa buong Pilipinas, or pinaka uh, mataas na building sa buong mundo, mga ganun iba balita mo, o kaya pinaka um, matalino na na estudyante sa buong Amerika, di ba? Basta mayroong mga pinaka doon sa new story mo. And that is the definition of extreme or superlatives. The scandal element is the controversy or unusual scoop stories in any news. Hindi lang ito nakalimita sa sex scandal ng isang <laughs> celebrity or kahit kanino. Ito rin yung mga, ano, nabalita yung mga krumal-dumal na ginagawa ng mga ibang officials, mga pandaraya ng ibang companies at mga iba-iba pa. Ang halimbawa ng skandal na balita ay siguro yung pagnako ng 15 billion doon sa PhilHealth. Skandal 'yon. O kaya ito. Kung alam ito, mayroon na balita na ano, na merong secretary ata siya or senator na inaabuso niya yung katulong niya, yung kasambahay niya. Parang sinasampal-sampal niya, binabato niya ng mga gamit doon sa bahay niya. Ayun, that's next exposure na balita. So ayun. Yun ang skandal. The last element is impact. Impact is similar to consequence, but it more focuses on the numbers rather from the outcome of the event. Ang example siguro nito ay yung COVID-19 cases update. Malalaman natin doon kung ilan yung mga active cases sa COVID, yung mga namatay at yung mga nakarecover. Another example siguro, magbabalita ka kung ilang cities sa Pilipinas ang mga nag-lockdown. O kaya, ipabalita mo kung ilan yung mga namatay, mga nakasurvive, or yung mga na-injured sa isang sunog. And that is impact. And that's all the elements of newsworthiness. I hope that you learned something in this video, especially for those aspiring journalists. Thank you very much. Take care. And remember, always wear a face mask.